Hi folks, uh, practicing with the mop today. Done one on Patreon. Um, this one's for you. Uh, I, so I'm going to wet part of the paper. Let's get a bit of a leave some some unpainted bits. And we'll put a little bit, bit of water in the foreground, leave the buildings for a minute. Okay, now I'm using a 90 pound Windsor & Newton paper and I'm, as it, it stretches I, I'm re-clipping. So let's have a, let's have a bit of orangey sky, a bit of red. A little river going around there. Okay, and then we'll go a bit of sienna up the top here. And we'll put in some blue. Okay, now we'll put a bit of red, a bit of uh, blue. A bit thicker than that, I think. Okay, we'll see what happens to, to that. I'll put a wash of green in, in there. This is the cadmium yellow. Some darker colour in there. Just the initial washes. I'm going to put a bit of you can tell I'm not used to that to these brushes. I don't persevere with them because I'm a I'm a hake man. Right, let's get some nice bank bank colour on the other side. And we'll add detail to that as we go. Right, I'm going to dry that now. So take your headphones off. Cool. Now we have a push over it. Right. Yeah, we'll be putting a bush or something over that. Uh, right, let's... Uh, Put some trees in, so a bit of burnt umber, a bit of ultramarine. Right, just using the sides of the brush, but leaving some unpainted paper.
and a little bit warmer. A pinch of Me. So I get nice shapes, but leave plenty of air holes for the, for the birds to fly through. Alright, paint around the building there. Then we'll put in some darker to see as you burnt sienna. An ultramarine here, so I just want some darks across this horizon there. Oh, I just from over there. Okay, now we've some more distant ones over the back, so more blue in this one. to lift that out. Okay, so we can put some stuff back in that. Let's do a bit of um, work on the, uh, the on the uh, foliage here. Some good dark in there now on, on the uh, on this horizon. Let's just really clip the paper now. So it's, it's nice and flat. <coughs> okay. There's a bit of paint grey with that, I think, why not? With this, it works, Bert Shannon works beautifully with uh, 
Plains Grey and Ultramarine. With just some So the river's sort of going around the bend, as am I. Really thick paint in here. Okay, before I put anything in there, I'm going to do the uh, do that. Now I'm um, I'm going to use my little mop for that. I'm going to try and keep to the mops as I'm able. Um, I've got this little very expensive triple O. It's eighteen pounds. This is a pro art squirrel. Triple O. There you go. Look. I'll show you the, uh, that's the number six, that's the number triple O. So I'm going to wet all this here and drop in some, some colour, so some burnt umber, but weak. Well, it's a bit of blue. Okay, touch, touch more blue in there, I think. Bluey, umberish. Okay, so that give a bit of distance, and we'll have a bit of red or a bit of sienna. Get in to there with some warmer umber, bit of sienna bit. Right, So a bit of dirty stuff in there. Mm. 
Oh, well, I'll wait for that to dry before I put the, the colour of the roof in. Uh, but I can do it there, so uh, we'll have a light. Well, let's just wet that first. Leave a tiny margin of white. Okay, um, let's get that line up there a bit more painted in there. Okay, so some uh, trunks and stuff in. in here, so I don't want to do too much of this because it'll get monotonous and I'll get bored. Just a, just a few. Remember some of these branches come down. Mm, it's got a bit more blue in here. Just little hints of twigs going into the canopy. Right, dirty that up a little bit. Another light coming that way. Now, a bit, bit of darkish red down here. A lovely point to it, this. Right. Oh, okay, so that'll do for that. And we'll, so the sun was coming there, that'd be in dark, so we'll put that in dark.
Uh, gone a bit wrong there. So if I'm masking. Burn umber and an ultra moon, very good good dark. Dark grey, so this is pretty nice porch way. Only rough. That's not very good. Okay, well that's supposed to be a porch. <coughs> I might put a bit of gouache in there. Oh, my thumb. I have a real problem with my hands these days. Just anchor the uh, bases of those trees. So that's her. Nearly done. It just had a little bit of reflection there just to reinforce the idea of uh, Okay, well, not much I can do with that now. Uh, it's very rough, but it was meant to be. Well, I think I'm going to put a tree in there. Best way to get out of trouble.
solve that problem. Okay, so we'll put a couple of birds in and then call it a day. Done too. So have a look at Patreon folks if you would like to contribute towards the channel and be grateful. Many people in there, I think. Uh, right, I'll put a mount around it. Oops. Oh, for a drink of tea. Oh, terrible. I forget. I went downstairs to make one, bring it up. Carry on with this, but I forgot it. All right, okay, well, there we are. So we've got quite a bit in there. We've got a complicated sky in the sense that, not because it's complicated to do, but because there are lots of elements in it. We've got some cloud, we've got some blue, we've got some white clouds behind, or off-white, for a bit of warm. We've got all these distant trees, and we've got the old cottages. Uh, Sussex cottages, old Sussex cottages, that are too much, or oh, practice with the mop. Um, these are my trunks, are very good, but uh, it was getting hard to hold the brush there. Uh, I right, just zoom out. Well, there you are. So that's one for Saturday. Hope you enjoy. They've gone up here, up the hill there a bit, but we won't worry about that. Well, we can, we, we can go like that with the mount. Right, okay, enjoy your weekend, folks. See you soon. Bye-bye.